Hey guys, it's Sarah Maria here and welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell by the title below, I'm back with another Valentine's Day makeup look and I know my last video was a Valentine's Day makeup look and that was a year ago but I promise to be more consistent and upload content every week but let me not ramble on too much and get straight into the video. So I'm using my Olay Day Cream and I'm applying that to my face. I'm then moving on to my Revlon Perfecting Primer and applying a dab onto my cheeks, my chin, and my forehead. And I'm using my finger to distribute that evenly. Moving on to my LA Girl Yellow Corrector, I'm going to apply that onto my lids to cancel out the darkness. And I'm going to use a fluffy brush to blend that out. To be honest, I'm not fussy about what I use to blend it out. Sometimes I use my beauty blender, other times I use another brush. It just depends on the day and what's available. Now moving on to my Profusion Mixed Metals palette, I'm going to use the shade Heavenly to apply that into my crease as a transition color and I'm going to use a fluffy brush to blend that out. Now as you can see I did end up changing my brush because I just didn't feel as comfortable with the first one so I'm just going to continue doing the same thing just with this brush. Now moving on to my Morphe M35 palette, I'm going to be using the color Fired Up and my Morphe blending brush to apply that into my crease as well to deepen up that first shade. Now as you can see, I applied the color at the end of my eye and I used windshield wiping motions to blend that in towards my inner eye. Now using the same palette and brush, I'm going to use the color Candy Crush and focus directly into my crease, ensuring that it doesn't blend all the way up to where I placed the first transition color. And I'm just going to blend this using windshield wiping motions as well. To cut my crease, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the number 16 and as per usual with a cut crease, I'm just going to apply that onto my lids, start from my inner eye working my way out. Now I usually just apply my concealer on my lid and look up to create a guide for myself as to how far I should take my cut crease. And for this look, I'm not going to go all the way, I'm just going to do 3 quarter of my eye. Using the same Morphe palette, I'm going to go into the color Bright Eyes with a flat brush and pack this onto my lid until I cannot see that concealer anymore. Excuse the way I hold the brush on my left side, that's not my dominant side, so I usually struggle with applying anything to that eye. Now I'm going to use my Profusion Cosmetics Silver Glitter Pigment and a smaller blending brush to apply that over the color that I just applied on my lid. 
I'm adding this to apply some shimmer over the last eyeshadow that we did because I'm not really going for a matte eye look this Valentine's Day. Now, as you can see, I really, really tried to pack this color on. Now, I'm just going to use a makeup wipe to clean up the corners of the eye look just in case there's any falling eyeshadow as well. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm going to use my Pro Fusion Liquid Eye Pencil and I must say I am in love with this. Like, I'm fairly new to this brand but I will not give it up for anything. It was actually a birthday gift and trust me I'm so grateful for that now. If you want to see a tutorial on how I do my eyeliners then please leave that in the comment section below. Also, if you want to see how I fill in my eyebrows, also leave that in the comment section below because I will definitely be up to making an eyebrow tutorial. Now going back into my Pro Fusion palette, I'm going to use the color Antique to highlight my brow bone. Now I'm going to move on to my collection Fastro Defining Lash Mascara and I love this mascara because it's waterproof and smudge proof so I know it's definitely going to last me the whole day. I usually don't curl my lashes because really and truly I don't see the need to but if you like it, then you're free to do so. Now I'm going to go into these falsies from Superdrug in the number 309, and I'm just going to apply them as usual. For foundation today, I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the number 230. And to be honest guys, it was my first time using this foundation, hence why I applied so much. But for future reference, you do not need this much foundation because it is full coverage. I'm using the Revolution F103 brush to blend that out. As you can see, I was obviously feeling the look of this foundation. Using my Fit Me Concealer, I'm just going to highlight under my eyes, my nose, my forehead, my chin, next to my lips, and my cupid's bow. And I'm going to apply the LA Girl Yellow Corrector on top of this for extra coverage. I'm going to use a flat concealer brush. To blend this in and realize guys when I'm blending under my eyes I try to not take that concealer too down low because I don't want to cancel out the color of my foundation
use my real technique to beauty blend it just to ensure that everything is very well blended To contour, I'm just going to use the LA Go Pro Conceal in the color Beautiful Bronze and I'm going to apply that to my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose and under my chin. I'm going to use my Real Technique brush in the number 200 to blend that out. Now, you can see it was way too much for my complexion, but I still managed to blend it out. Yeah, guys, I had to go back with my Beauty Blender to make sure that that blends out fully because it was looking like a mad thing. Oh my goodness guys, do you see how hard it looks like I'm patting my face when really it was not that hard? I'm gonna go in with a smaller Real Techniques brush. To be fairly honest with you guys, I forgot the number, but I will put it down in the description bar below. I'm going to use my damn beauty blender to apply my RCMA no color powder. Moving on, I'm going to use a red lip liner to start lining out my lip and I'm going to use my Revolution Red Lipstick. I also forgot the number and the name for that so I'll leave that down in the description bar below. I use this powder because although the RCMA powder says that it has no color, it still leaves me fairly pale, so I just want to add more color under my eyes.
using my Revolution Blush Palette, I'm just gonna use that that peachy blush and my Real Techniques blush brush in the number 400 to apply that to the apples of my cheek and blending that into my contour. I'm gonna use my Berry M Set and Spray to give me that dewy finish. So I'm gonna use the color rust for my Pro Fusion palette and I'm gonna smoke that out under my eyes. Going into the color an antique, I'm just gonna apply that into my inner corner and under my eyes to highlight. I'm going to be highlighting the rest of my face with this color antique, so basically I'm just spraying my fan brush to emphasize on that shimmer, that glow, and I'm just applying it all over where I think is necessary. Finally, I'm just going to go in with my mascara and line my lower lashes. And that is the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a like comment down below subscribe and turn on that post notification bell because I will be posting more videos